Good morning, God bless you. A blessed Tuesday to you. We are going to pray the rosary and our prayers for the angels. If you want to get your coffee and your rosary, you have a few minutes while I try to share some of this. It's a little more complicated these days. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I think it is God's will. Yep. That we do this. <laughs> so, let's see. I don't want you to worry about me. I can't, it doesn't look like it's too visible, but my eyes are a little swollen. Um, I have a bad allergy to nuts. I can't even be in the room with a bag of nuts. And I stopped at my parents yesterday and my mom it's like Cinderella. She has all these creatures that come to the window to be fed. She's got her squirrels that they literally come up and knock on the window on the sliding glass door for bread. And she's got her birds that she feeds. And I sat down in a chair and all of a sudden my eyes swelled up. And she said, oh no, I had bird seed there earlier today. And bird seed is full of nuts. I had to run out to get some drops. But I see this morning my left eye is still has a big bubble under it. So I'm not sure you can tell, but that's why I look a little funny. Hopefully that will go down. When I get a nut allergy, it takes days to be better. If I eat them, it's even worse. I have to be careful. So just while I finish sharing this, you can get settled. Um, we have all sorts of intentions today. I'm super excited. My books got published in India last night. So we want to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to go and explode grace all over India to send many souls to find them. Oopsie, let's go back this way. Um, many souls to find them and to get them and to share them. India has a huge problem with um, having boys chosen over girls. And a lot of times little girls, they're considered less and unloved because of the caste system. So my book, The Holiness of Womanhood, would be such a grace there. And there have been Indian people who have called my friends in Pakistan and had them read them excerpts of my book over the phone. And now that book will be ready in India and available for them to purchase where we have it listed at cost so that um, they can get it inexpensively. But I can't, I don't have money for all these projects, especially since donations are very slim right now. I'm still working on Mexico and then we need to reprint the holiness of womanhood in Pakistan, and Nigeria eventually. But um, if you'd like to help in that, it, it's, it's such a gift. Um, you can contact me and I can tell you how you can make a donation. But let's pray right now for India today. And then my translator in Pakistan is using that book 
for a workshop for the next few weeks for women who have had abortions, for abortion healing. So we remember that. And it's exciting, too. In Pakistan, I got an email this morning, Pope Francis, yesterday on the feast of John Bosco, raised to the altar a servant of God from Pakistan. We're going to ask his intercession. Um, I don't have his name down pat, so I'm not going to try to say it. We're going to ask his intercession, though, with all of our work. Um, and he was murdered, or he gave his life blocking a suicide bomber going into a church in 2015. So in our lifetime. And he is being raised to the altars right now, the process of beatification here. His, um, let's see if I can get that to open. His name is um, Ak. Akash Bashir, Akash Bashir. So we ask servant of God, Akash Bashir, to pray for our work um, in Pakistan right now and to help us with all of these different things. And we pray for those who are ill. We pray for the upcoming snow here and all of those who are exposed to the elements. We pray for those with COVID, for those with other debilitating situations. Ah, the Blessed Mother Mary groups blacken me. Well, I'll try it one more way. Um, we pray for the work in Central America, and we beg the Lord to send me $1,500 to finish that project. It's so heavy on my heart. And we pray for those of you looking for jobs, those on the missions, trying to help different people. We pray for broken marriages and those with addictions, those with dementia, problems in their family, we pray for any broken relationships that people have asked to get healed. We pray for abused and neglected children. We pray for those mourning the loss of a loved one. I ask for prayers for a special family. We pray for the spread of these books and the art and the podcasts and this ministry. I depend on your prayers for all of this. And we pray for all of the intentions on all of these different pages and all of them that you have, especially in your prayer journal, you can pull that out and write them down, right? And at the beginning, we're going through the secret of the rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. And he says that um, the rosary is a mystical rose tree. And we offer these prayers for devout souls. So I'm just going to share this with you. And I'm sorry, I can't see your comments for some reason. Um, so, but I know that you're here, I see. Good and devout souls who walk in the light of the Holy Spirit, I do not think that you will mind my giving you this little mystical rose tree, which comes straight from heaven and which is to be planted in the garden of your soul. It cannot possibly harm the sweet smelling flowers of your contemplations, for it is a heavenly tree and its scent is beautiful. It will not in the least interfere with your carefully planned flower beds, for being itself all pure and well ordered, it inclines all to order and purity. If it is carefully watered and properly attended to every day, it will grow to such a marvelous height and its branches will have such a wide span that far from hindering your other devotions, it will maintain and perfect them. That reminds me of, I have a rose tree and I put it in dormancy in a closet and I don't water it for the winter and it has grown to 15, 16 feet. It's filled the whole closet and there's been like 25 roses that bloom from it, right? A rosary is like that, but God pours such grace that it does miraculous things and has miraculous fruit. 
Of course you understand what I mean since you are spiritually minded. This mystical rose tree is Jesus and Mary in life, death, and eternity. Its green leaves are the joyous mysteries, the thorns the sorrowful ones, and the flowers the glorious mysteries of Jesus and Mary. The buds are the childhood of Jesus and Mary, and the open blooms show us both of them in their sufferings. The full-blown roses symbolize Jesus and Mary in their triumph and their glory. A rose delights us because of its beauty. So here we have Jesus and Mary in the joyful mysteries. Its thorns are sharp and prick, which make us think of them in the sorrowful mysteries. And last of all, its perfume is so sweet that everyone loves it. And this fragrance symbolizes their glorious mysteries. So please do not scorn this beautiful and heavenly tree, but plant it with your own hands in the garden of your soul, making the resolution to say your rosary every day. By saying it daily and by doing good works, you will be tending your tree, watering it, hoeing the earth around it. Eventually you will see that this little seed which I have given you and which seems so very small now, will grow into a tree so great that the birds of heaven, I, for example, predestinate and contemplative souls, will dwell in it and make their nests there. Its shade will shelter them from the scorching heat of the sun, and its great height will keep them safe from the wild beasts on the ground. Best of all, they will feed upon the tree's fruit, which is none other than our adorable Jesus, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. So be it. God alone. I believe, oops, we start with the morning offering. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joy, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of our hearts and for our final union with you in heaven, amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For Pope Francis, the cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
for an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we pray the sorrowful mysteries today. And the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. In this mystery, we remember that the torturous pain of the heart of Christ and that he was so overwhelmed with suffering that he sweat blood and God had to send an angel to comfort him. In this mystery, we ask the Lord that even in the midst of suffering, we surrender to his will the way that Jesus did. What did he say? My father, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but yours be done. Right? And we ask that he sent angels to comfort, to strengthen, to encourage us when we have something difficult to do for the Lord. We ask the angels to go before us to touch the souls that God has designed for us to touch, to open their hearts, to draw them to his son, himself. And we ask for the gift of perseverance in doing the will of God, trusting that he will provide. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of the pillar. In this mystery, Jesus is tortured. He's tortured in his body. He's tortured in his soul. He's tortured not only by physical pain, ripping his flesh apart, but he's tortured by the mockery, the abandonment, that those who he's loved and served and chosen didn't rise up to defend him. And yet he endures with patience and he endures with trust in his Father. In this mystery of the scourging, we pray for patience and for courage and for trust. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspodsta Boyu, Blagoslavian Natimiej de Jonami, I Blagoslavian Plodshereva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Krishni, Nimi Ivchas Mirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Sabo, Bogoslavionish Tinians and Evastami, I Bogoslavioni Ova Chivota, Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria Matka Boja, Mudal Shazanami Kshishnimi, Terra Sif Gojina, Ishmir Gina, she amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, Yenares de Gracia, el Senor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores. Aurra y la hora de nuestra muerte, amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donna, y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte, amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, oro pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russia. Radius ia Maria, blagadati polnaya gaspod staboyo, blagaslavien natinez de jonami, i blagaslavien plicereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, malisa nas grishni, Niniv chas mirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoslavionish timians and evastami. I bogoslavioni, ovot shavota tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, matka boja. Mudal shizanami kshishnini. Terra siv gojina, i shmirti nashi amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, yenares de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donna, y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicurirat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, Come by the means of the powerful intercession 
of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. And in this mystery, we remember Jesus crowned with thorns on his head and crowned with thorns on his heart. Jesus suffered this crowning with thorns, especially to grant us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, light, and truth. So often people think too much as a human way, and their thinking is colored by what they see in, their me in the media or the sins in the world around them, the disorder. And they don't think according to, with, to Christ with a pure heart, with good intentions, with divine love. In this mystery, we pray that we can think like Christ. We may have that mind of Christ. We pray for those who have maybe misjudged us or misunderstood us. And we pray for religious freedom, for all of the different people in authority, for judges and lawyers and politicians and church authority. We pray for all of the court cases that deal with religious freedom and the end to abortion, both here in the United States and Canada and in places where the faith is persecuted. We ask that Jesus, who suffered in his mind and in his heart for wisdom to guide humanity, we ask for him to intercede for us personally, for all the intentions that we present to him in this um, decade, right? Our, the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. And in this mystery, we remember how Jesus carried his cross and how the Lord sent many people to show compassion to him. Veronica and his mother, Simon and the weeping women. And we also see how Jesus had compassion on them. He reached out even though he was the one suffering for all of humanity. He reached out and showed compassion to those around him. In this mystery, we pray for an increase of compassion in our hearts and the hearts of the people who we pray for. We pray that hardened hearts be softened, cold hearts be warmed, fearful hearts be encouraged, remorseful hearts be given the grace to make up in reparation to those who they hurt, erroneous hearts to be corrected. The carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagarati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavia Natimiesh Dejonami, I Blagoslavian Plucereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Malisa Naskarishni, Ninif chas mirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoswavion ashtimienza nevastami. I bogoswavioni ova chivota tvayego jesus. Shvente Maria matka bosha. Mural shiza namik shishnimi. Terra sif gojina i shmirti nashi amen. Spanish. Dios de salve Maria, yenares de gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu se benedicta fra la donne, y benedicto el fruto del tu seno, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dio, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesús. Santa María, Mater de, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, Nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavia Natimiesh Dejonami, I Blagoslavia Plecreva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Ninivcha Smirti Nashi. Amen. Polish. Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswavion ashtimienza nevastami, i bogoswavioni ovod shavota tvaigo Jesus. Shventa Maria matka boja mudal shizanami kshishnimi, terra sif gojina i shmirchina shi amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena de este gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, 
y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tú se benedicta fra la donna, y benedicto el fruto del tu seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus teca. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erar in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Fifth, sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord. In this mystery, we remember Jesus' words that said, unless a grain of wheat dies, falls to the ground and dies, it doesn't bear fruit. But if it dies, it bears fruit a hundredfold. And Jesus didn't just say this, he embraced it in his death. We look at the life of the martyrs. We look at that new martyr for um, Pakistan. It was Akaf Bashir, I think is his name, right? Let's see here. Akash Bashir, servant of God who died. And we look at the martyrs of Africa. And they die, but then the faith is spread through the sacrifice of their lives. All of us are called to have a martyr's heart. We're not all called to be physical martyrs. Some are. But we're all called to love Jesus and be faithful enough to his teachings that we're willing to die for them. In this mystery, we pray that we may be like Jesus. We may be like the martyrs of old, the martyrs of new, that we be willing to lay down our life for others and to even die for the faith, to have that interior martyrdom every day where we put God and others before ourselves, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. And on this Tuesday, when we remember angels, we ask them to intercede for us in that. They were the witnesses of the martyrs and the witnesses of the passion. We ask them to strengthen us. We pray particularly for priests to have a martyr's heart. And we pray for an increase in their humility and their purity. The crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive all those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thy nice of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name. Kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. 
So we beg of you, O Saint Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. Saint Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness of the snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. For the souls that have died, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may the, your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family, amen. And we pray the St. Patrick breastplate prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles, in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizard saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, against destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, against sickness and calumny, against jealousy, competition, blocking and division, against rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, against denial, abandonment, rejection and indifference, against unfaithfulness and misunderstanding and every, every, every other evil that could come against me so that there may come to me instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in my heart, in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me. Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And on Tuesdays, we do a consecration to the holy angels and to St. Michael. O holy angels of God, here in the presence of the triune God and in the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer, I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a poor sinner, want to make a covenant with you who are his servants 
so that in union with you, I might work with humility and fortitude for the glory of God and the coming of his kingdom. Therefore, I implore you to assist me, especially in the adoration of God and of the most holy sacrament of the altar, in the contemplation of the word and the salvific works of God, in the imitation of Christ and in the love of his cross and a spirit of expiation, in the faithful fulfillment of my mission within the church, serving humbly after the example of Mary, my heavenly mother and your queen, and you, my good guardian angel, who continually behold the face of our Father in heaven, God entrusted me to you from the very beginning of my life. I thank you with all of my heart for your loving care. I commit myself to you and promise you my love and fidelity. I beg you protect me against all my own weakness and against the attacks of the wicked spirits and people who do evil. Enlighten my mind and my heart so that I may always know and accomplish the will of God and lead me to union with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Consecration to St. Michael. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of Almighty God, zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved archangel St. Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you, then place myself, my family, and all that I possess under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I as your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made. And remember that if from this day onward I am under your patronage, you must during all of my life assist me and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses, my sins, and the grace to love with all of my heart, my God and Savior, Jesus Christ, and my sweet mother, Mary, and St. Joseph, and to obtain for me all of the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from my temporal and spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle. With your powerful weapon, cast far from me into the infernal abyss, that provocator and proud angel, that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of Seraphim, may the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect charity. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord grant us the grace to leave the ways of sin, to run in the paths of Christian perfection. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, counsel, truth, and light. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of thrones, may the Lord infuse into our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. We pray for peace, purity, meekness, gentleness, humility, joy, and docility. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of dominations, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and overcome any unruly young passions. We pray for God's will to be made known to us, for help in perplexities, and for holy zeal, perseverance, and confidence. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of virtues, May the Lord preserve us from evil and falling into temptation. We pray for the grace to carry out the will of God, for the government of seasons and elements, and for those in public office and extraordinary needs of mind and body. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of powers, may the Lord protect our souls against the snares and the temptations of the devil. We pray for the powers to fight against the evil spirits set to destroy the plans of God. And we ask for strength, courage, and fortitude. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of principalities, may God fill our souls with a true spirit of obedience. We ask them to guard all the nations and to help those in authority, those who govern bodies and souls. By the intercession of St. Michael, and the celestial choir of archangels. May the Lord give us perseverance in faith and in all good works, 
in order that we may attain the glory of heaven. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of guardian angels, may the Lord grant us to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted in the life to come into heaven. Amen. O glorious Prince St. Michael, chief and commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls and vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Pray for us, O glorious St. Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, that we be made worthy of his promises. Almighty and everlasting God, who by a prodigy of goodness and a merciful desire for the salvation of all men has appointed the most glorious archangel, St. Michael, Prince of your church, make us worthy, we ask you, to be delivered by, from all of our enemies, that none of them may harass us at the hour of death, but that we may be conducted by him into your presence. This we ask through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray the litany to our guardian angel. We each have a guardian angel who is assigned to us by God when we were conceived. We ask his powerful intercession for all of our intentions. Lord of mercy on us, Christ of mercy on us, Lord of mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Queen of the angels, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who are our guardians, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who we revere as our superiors, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who give us charitable counsel, pray for us. Angels of heaven who give us wise direction, pray for us. Angels of heaven who take the place of a tutor, pray for us. Angels of heaven who love us tenderly, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are our consoler, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are our counselors, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are attached to us as good brothers, pray for us. Angels of heaven who instruct us in the duties and truth of salvation, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who are to us charitable shepherds, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who are witnesses to all of our actions, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who help us in all of our undertakings, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who continually watch over us, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who intercede for us, pray for us. Angels of heaven who carry us in your hand, pray for us. Angels of heaven who direct us in all of our ways, pray for us. Angels of heaven who defend us with zeal, pray for us. Angels of heaven who conduct us with wisdom, pray for us. Angels of heaven who guard us from danger, pray for us. Angels of heaven who dissipate darkness and enlighten our minds, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Pray for us, O hold guardian angels, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who by an effect of thy ineffable bounty has given to each of the faithful an angel to be the guardian of body and soul. Grant that we may have for them whom you have given us in thy mercy so much respect and love that protected by the gifts of your graces and their help, we may merit to go to you in heaven, there to contemplate you with all of these angels and all of the other happy spirits in the brightness of eternal glory. Amen. And at the end, I want to pray and ask your intercession with me to um, Our Lady of Good Remedy. She is the one that we pray to when um, we have a particular financial need. 
and I have such a need for um, donors to help with our projects and the missions. And so we ask to Our Lady of Good Remedy to send very good and holy people to donate the money that we need. O Queen of Heaven and Earth, Most Holy Virgin, we venerate you. You are the beloved daughter of the Most High God, the chosen mother of the Incarnate Word, the Immaculate Spouse of the Holy Spirit, the Sacred Vessel of the Most Holy Trinity. O Mother of the Divine Redeemer, who under the title of Our Lady of Good Remedy comes to the aid of all who call upon you, extend your maternal protection over us. We depend on you, dear Mother, as helpless and needy children depend upon a tender and caring Mother. O Lady of Good Remedy, source of unfailing help, Grant that we may draw from your treasury of grace in our time of need. Touch the hearts of sinners that they may seek reconciliation and forgiveness. Bring comfort to the afflicted and the lonely. Help the poor and hopeless. Aid the sick and suffering. May they be healed in body and strengthened in spirit to endure their sufferings with patient resignation and Christian fortitude. Dear Lady of Good Remedy, source of unfailing help. Your compassionate heart knows a remedy for every affliction and misery that we encounter in life. Help us with your prayers and intercession to find a remedy for our problems and needs, especially for our financial needs to be able to print the Spanish books in Mexico, Colombia, um, Bolivia, Puerto Rico, and Belize, and to be able to print another copy of the holiness of womanhood in Nigeria and Pakistan. On our part, O holy loving mother, we pledge ourselves to more intensely Christian lifestyle, to a more careful observance of the laws of God, to be more conscientious in fulfilling the obligations of our state in life, and to strive to be sources of healing in this broken world of ours. Our Lady of Good Remedy, be ever present to us, and through your intercession, may we enjoy health of body and peace of mind and grow stronger in the faith and in the love of your son, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of Good Remedy, that we may deepen our dedication to your son and make the world alive with his Holy Spirit. And we pray Cardinal John Henry Newman's prayer. Dear Jesus, help me to spread your fragrance wherever I go. Flood my soul with your spirit and life. Penetrate and possess my whole being so utterly that my life may only be a radiance of yours. Shine through me and be so in me that every soul I come in contact with may feel your presence in my soul. Let them look up and no longer see me, but only Jesus. Stay with me and then I shall begin to shine as you shine, so to shine to be a light to others. The light, O oh Jesus, will be all from you. None of it will be mine. It will be you shining on others through me. Let me thus praise you the way that you love best, by shining on those around me. Let me preach you without preaching, not by words, but by my example, by the catching force of the sympathetic influence of what I do, the evidence fullness of the love my heart bears to you. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Michael Gabriel Raphael, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. Saint Bridget of Ireland, pray for us. Saint Xenia, pray for us. All of you holy saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Please continue to pray for the spread of this work, especially in India, in the United States, and Canada, and that we can fund our projects in Central America and the Middle East and North Africa. Um, we ask that the Lord may just send really good people who see the worth of this work and how deeply that these books are able to touch hearts and heal them and change and bring peace to these areas of the world who have not known this gospel of the Lord. So we ask for prayers for that and for fruitfulness. 
um, and that the Lord continues to guide me and my publisher and those that are involved in the different aspects of my ministry. So thank you and God bless you and know that you are in my prayers and I will be back tomorrow.